that feeling of privilege that you get, that feeling of looseness that you get once you indulge in lust, once you pour the fire on the internal or the external gasoline, and you put that gasoline inside you, that battery in your back, that false light, and you charge it up like that, that feeling of satisfaction is you basically handing over the reins to the fungus in your lungs or the fungus in your liver or the flukes in your pancreas or the worms in your bowels. You're basically, or worms in your liver, and your brain, possibly, depending on if any lining has been breached, which in most people it has. So that feeling of, ah, I'm coasting, I'm letting the body coast is, yeah, basically ghost riding, letting the body be pushed around by something else, having a chauffeur. It's no different than feeling like, I have a chauffeur, I don't need to drive. I got something driving for me. But at the same time, if your chauffeur drives off a cliff, you might be mad. You might feel like you can blame the chauffeur, but at the end of the day, you got in the car and you allowed it to be driven by some other entity. And of course, when I talk about things like the Jezebel entity or these other entities that are succubi, incubi, they are genderless. They are entities that take form of a gender so that you can perceive them from your perspective because you're not complete. You're feeling as though you're not complete. So you feel I'm male, I'm female, I'm man, I'm woman. I'm not androgynous. I'm not both. I'm not balanced. So the entity takes advantage of that. It, be, it personifies itself in the greatest crutch that you could ever think of. And the more you give into it and your dreams and what have you, the more that you will give out to lust, the more that you will constantly react to life. Because you're, you're giving up the control of creation, so the only thing you can do is react. And, of course, that puts you behind the eight ball. And the eight ball is what? Infinity. Inf and it's a black ball, supposedly, right? It's a black ball of infinity. So, you can, you can look at that however you want to look at it, but that is the reality, or the unreality that we're going through, is that people feel as though that they have the privilege to ignore this omnipresent self within themselves.